Welcome back to another exciting episode of Dingle and Dongle, an adventure in a parallel universe. On this episode, they find and meet Morgan Freeman the Great of the Third Dynasty of Imperial China. What the f- <laughs> I found- I found a gem just by like Wait, walking- Wait, hold on, that was a gem? <laughs> Yeah, I found a gem by walking too close to the wall while I was walking through the door. Well then. <laughs> good job on that. Keep up the good work. Oh, that's one more gem I don't have to find later, so. Loverly. Can you guys tell that I make up my dingle and dongle intros on the run? <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine so. <laughs> is, the next, is the next dingle and dongle intro going to be like dingle and dongle after ten years of out of the limelight. They are making their return in this action-packed summer blockbuster directed by Michael Bay. <laughs> this directed is... by Michael Rowe. <laughs> <laughs> we sat down. They are Dunkle and Dangle. We... No, wait. That's, yeah, that's Dinkle and, Dingle and Dongle's kids. <laughs> yeah, it's Even though like, they're both men. Dingle and Dongle left... <laughs> Dingle and Dongle left clues as to their ancient crypt. <laughs> we must find it. But there are robots who We sat down with there. director Michael Rowe. Well, you see, uh, I wasn't sure how to make this movie at first, but uh, I just looked for inspiration for my big white cock. And as I was sticking into various women and men, I said to myself, I should make a Dingle and Dongle movie. So I approached, uh the nearest connections, if you know what I mean, aka the guys I was sticking my big old wiener into, and uh, we just <laughs> got started work. We rented out a a, a, a Canon camera, and uh, yeah, that's just about it. Uh, so uh, that movie will be coming out uh, February 30th, so uh, I'll see you all there. <laughs> Peace out, I'm Michael Rowe. Then he rides off in his... M m Cockmobile. Penis. Penis. Powered. <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> he rockets off on his, like, <laughs> he jumps on top of his penis like it's a... <laughs> like it's a pogo? No, no, like a, a witch's broom. <laughs> and he rides it off. Because <laughs> it's so big. I can do that. I like how you have to freeze, like, those guys to get their kites. Yeah, so worth it. Sorry, right, I keep kicking a thing. Mm. Yep. So, Michael, stapled any ball sacks to people's mouth lately? This is a great why, episode so far. Why is it that, like, whenever I say something. Excuse you! Thanks. <laughs> These gems are music to my arse. Sorry, I'm dyslexic. No, let. You know what I also. dislike, but I'm going to say I like anyway? Is like is the simple fact that like fucking all all, all the all the, like the all of the NPCs you know they're like constantly doing their mouth movements you know yeah and so it's just like they didn't even bother to like lip sync at all and it's like really noticeable you know like they didn't even try you know yeah well I'm sure that was the least of their concerns yeah they were trying to probably not die of exhaustion to be honest trying to program this complexicated game they weren't like. Oh my god, I can sense it. Twelve years from now, two jackasses will be playing this on their Let's Play channel. And we'll have ups we'll have let them down if we don't, like, lip-sync this perfectly. Nah. <laughs> um. Could you stop... <laughs> stop stuffing your grody, disgusting face hole with your goddamn tortilla chips. Chilps. <laughs> what if these guys just had super deep voices? Um, like Women Dragon walked by and he's oh, like, Hold on. Damn, where are you going with all that? <laughs> Is that uh, Must Lowe be jelly, because jam don't shake like that. Wait, I got that wrong. <laughs> that's how Mike Rowe gets women. In fact, that's how anybody can get women. If you can do a good Mike Rowe impression. <laughs> Alright, hold on a moment. If you can, Was I supposed to get a dragonfly from that? Here's my tips for picking up women. 
and or men, if you're into it. So this works for women too, and gay people. Okay, so you go up to a man or a woman. I'm still missing the dragon. And you say food. like, you say like the super cheesy like, or like, just just the things you hear all the time of like. I'll just give you an example, like, damn girl, where are you going with all that? And they'll be like, my panties already. <laughs> or Eric, or... can you do me a favor and um, <laughs> look up the? Oh, dragon I thought you were gonna say, can you do me a favor and uh. Uh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Can you look up the dragonflies for this level? Because I, I... Did it hurt? I could have fucking When swore. you fell from heaven? Because I'm Mike Rowe. Then he rides off with his penis broomstick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I have a feeling that the real life Mike Rowe hates you. <laughs> like, he doesn't know who I am. <laughs> because, like, Mike Rowe is, like, the most unseeming... Seeming... An unassuming guy you've ever met. He's probably you know? like a super chill guy. Like in all honesty. Yeah, he's like the sort of guy who's just like, hey, you wanna head down to the bar and have a couple of rounds? He's just like, sure. Let me go grab my penis. <laughs> <laughs> Real micro. <clears throat> you know, I'd love to do that. I love hanging out with my buddies. Because that's... I'm a good guy, and I'm just overall... I'm a, just about the perfect, and you, sh and you should all respect me. Or as my version of his name is... Fuck all of y'all. I get all the bitches, hoes, and drugs. Now I'm gonna ride off on my penis broomstick into the night. <laughs> and sounds like a motorcycle. <laughs> Alright, I'm looking it up. Even though you're clearly making lots of progress without me. Okay, Dragon Realms, that's the pub world, right? So, Dragonfly the one, Dojo. The one I'm looking for is, um... The... Fifth one? In the do you have in the mists? Okay, you have on the loose. You have dojo time trial, dojo race, lonely island. Hey, in the corridor. Yes. Yeah. Tank training or whatever the fuck. Climbing steps. Elder dragon. Shit. Um, hold on. Cause we can only get it now, so it probably shows up later. This is all the other garbage we did. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I said hold on. Hold on. There's only one thing to do here. Rescue the kites. And does that give you a dragonfly? It should. Rescue... Wait, what's it called? Baby dragons? You have baby dragons? No. no. And I just did here. that! Rescue the kites. The first dragon to help is in the Misty Era. Second dragon, you got that. Use Ice Breath on the dragons, you got the thing. Uh, they didn't give me a dragon On the then. third one, you'll be rewarded. Video games are fun. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> they what? didn't program it properly. What would Mike Rowe do? Mike Rowe would ride around in his penis mobile. You know how people have, like... <laughs> besides, yes, um... Mike Rowe, you know how they have uh, bumper stickers that right, say... I'm going to go into the sub area and then come back and see you if know how, like, I can get it Okay, that you know way. how people have like bumper stickers that say, that say, like, what would Jesus do? Yeah. We should make ones that are like, what would Mike Rowe do? <laughs> I'm, if I'm going to venture a guess here, I'm not going to be able to get the good ending because it's not going to let me get that because the game is not properly programmed. You don't know that. Because, like, it should have just given me a dragonfly, so what the fuck hell talk happened? To, just talk to the third one. I did. Do it again. again. You bastardo. I want to, like, just, I guess, try to redo it and see what happens. Because, um, this is a little retarded, I'm you not going to lie. just have to... <laughs> yeah, so I can just fly up here, apparently. Oh, I guess it doesn't count if they're not frozen. <laughs> Dude, let it go. Son of a... What the fuck is going on? I dropped my controller, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and then, like, the kite freezes. And he, like, floated in the air for a few seconds. What in the fuck is going on? I don't think this is supposed to happen. Can you die? Just die. Yeah. 
<laughs> Spyro's like, it's not worth it. Pardon. And ladies and gentlemen, this is with a clean copy, a pristine copy that has never been scratched, smudged, or smeared. <laughs> that was so official. What the fuck is going on? This is like it, weird. It should be giving me one. What the fuck is this? Give me one! Come. Talk to him again. Try it again. And then what do I do after that? Talk to him again, Eric? <laughs> Do you, you probably still have to find the other ones again since you left for the sub area. It reset yeah. that guy when it reset everybody else. You you have a good point. I'll give that a shot. Now, Eric, you must have dropped something hard because that was loud. Oh, I dropped my dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eric, you dropped your pocket. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Wait, are we leaving this in? Because I'm chew. I love this game. Why? It did st I love this game. Get down! <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. Alright. We are going to reset the game console. Oh. So, we will see you guys soon. Oh. Welcome back to day. Oh, wait. This Let's go find this garbage. Because the game had to fucking glitch! I should not have to reboot the game console just because they chose not to program the fucking dragon correctly. Like, it should- it should be much simpler than this. And I also should just be able to just jump up there, you know? Oh, I have to, like, walk in the exact specific place. Make sure you talk to all of them. Alright. Not that that should matter, but do it oh, anyway. Like, the animation on the kite stopped. <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> this is the game that... This is the game that keeps on giving. It's one of those games where you like feel like you have to do everything super deliberately in order not to e break exactly. it. Exactly. I know. A yes. When you have like a part of a game that's like doesn't always work, so you go like super slow and care. Like I remember when Fable Two came out, mm. there was this glitch where if you like chose the wrong option or something or like speed yeah, option, I r actually ran into that glitch. The first time you I couldn't played. like you couldn't do anything. Yeah, like you about couldn't it. talk to the abbot or something so like, like that. Yes, exactly. And then you couldn't beat the game. You couldn't even get past that part. And it was just at that point in the game where it's far enough in so that you're super pissed you lost a bunch of progress, but not far enough so that like you were actually able to play any other game really. Mm -hmm. Um, and I remember you f you fell into that trap, and um, so when I played it, I was like super careful about it. I was like, okay, and he did not he did not pr choose the wrong option here, or whatever. I heard there was um something like that in Pokemon actually. Um, well... We're back! Wait. Is there anything that I was saying in it? Yeah, I'll leave it. I okay. just I just put it there so that I know that that's where the fucking dragonfly finally decided to show up. God, folks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 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 Stop that. <laughs> I probably... Yeah, so, like, ladies and gentlemen, regardless of how long it ends up being in the final video, it took us, like, 15 minutes to get that one dragonfly because of that fucking glitch. It took us longer than that. It looked a little longer than that. It took us, like, 20 minutes. It took point, a long damn point, time. Point is, it took longer than it conceivably ever should have. Because you, it's like, because it was finished like, in, like, six minutes. Yeah. So we're gonna do um we're gonna do a couple of sub gates here, try to get all of them I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is this a race? No. Okay. <clears throat> At least I sincerely hope it is not. Because if it definitely is, definitely more races. If it is, I'm going to be so pissed because I do not want to play it right now. Like, I do not want to play more of that right now. 
You hear this? Please. You hear this? Michael's against races. He's a racist. <laughs> you like that? That's okay, I got it. Hmm. See ya. Oh, I knocked the battery out. Hey, everybody go down in the comments. Shit. Leave. I thought you'd left. Right, Michael's a douchebag. Do it. Welcome back. Here's your controller that you threw in the ground. Okay. Which, which do, do it. Let's do you first. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. Whichever one's more fun. So, what were you saying about doing a subgate in an episode? <laughs> we're gonna be spending the rest of this. Okay, so from now on, how we're gonna be tackling these is if I don't get it on my first try, I'm just gonna cut, you know, to when we finish it. You'll like this one. I call this Micro's Balls. <laughs> Micro's balls, micro's balls, micro's balls are great. Taste like <laughs> and they're okay. Listen, I get another. I get another go. I don't want to bring <laughs> into this. <laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> micro's balls, micro's balls. They taste really good because they are tasty, just like other normal food. Hey, micro's <laughs> balls, micro's balls. They taste like whipped cream. But not the kind that you find in Twinkies and inside his penis. Finally fucking did it's like, it. like, what two games should we mix for our sub games? Hmm, how about Sonic 06 and Superman 64? Those go over well with the crowd. Well, like, good job. Good job. You're, you're promoted, Cornelius. Hello. Hi, Michael. How's it going? But don't do it in a way that's super obvious. You know what I'm saying? Staple his balls to his forehead. Got it. Okay. And if you're wondering what that noise is, it's because I have cold fish in the mouth. Okay. See ya. Thank. Fuck. Hell. Jeremy Strong. Let's name that bad actor. No offense, Jeremy, if you're watching, which I know you are. <laughs> I like how there's no context. Everybody should watch Robot and Frank. It's a good movie. <laughs> I'd like to take the exit level challenge. Thank you very much. You made that joke last time. Ladies and gentlemen, I think... <laughs> Michael is emotionally drained. I right fucking now. hate those racing sections. He's a but horrible racist. But we're fucking racist. done with it. We don't ever have to do it again. So... Next time we sit down for a Spyro recording session, you know, we'll finish up more of the sub-areas in this level. God... I'm getting so fucking Here's sick of this look. game already. But, yeah. We'll see you guys more for more later on.